I'm Whitney. I'm Trevor. And welcome, welcome to Shay New. New. Um, this is our introduction video. We wanted to take a minute to introduce ourselves, give you a little bit of information about us, and what we're all about. Um, you'll see her every once in a while because she's around here. Um, we do have a dog, and she is our baby, um, Bonnie. And <laughs> don't be surprised child. if she pops in on the video. So, um... Just wanted to take a minute and let you know who we are, what we're about, um, you know, show you some things that we're doing, our, our trials and our challenges, our failures, and or we can't really show you our failures because we, we're coming up on our first year anniversary. We've been at this for a year now, so now we're, we've had failures, and so we're trying to correct those failures or try something else so honey you want to tell them a little bit about um what's all going on here how it came to be here and and stuff yeah well we lived in the uk uh we just moved over here in march of last year bought ourselves a piece of land and we've been gradually building it up through 12 months and uh getting stuff like the water system, composting toilets. We have no running water here. We are on electric, uh, but we've only recently just got that. Up until that point, we were running on generators most of the time, so. Mm. Which could be quite expensive. <laughs> yeah. Very expensive. Um, we're living in a, an old office trailer. There's just two rooms and we've, uh, built our own bathroom in there, shower and kitchen and bedroom and uh, it, it's slowly coming together like a proper home. That's the thing is Trevor and I have some skills um, and we do have some history of you know raising livestock, uh, gardening you know to a certain extent um, our building capabilities have developed. Um, we went from the wonky shack, which, by the way, you guys were never going to get to be able to see because Trevor is in the process of taking it apart. Mm. The very first build was build. A, my build was a structure by which to hold our fuel cans for our generator in a separate area from the generators, being safety, and it's got dubbed the wonky shack because it kind of sort of lands really bad. <laughs> but you guys are never going to get to see it except for maybe in some photos that we may post out a little bit later on. But um, our builds have improved our building skills. Uh, we're still learning, um, you know, different ways because basically we don't have designs or something. We just have it in our head and we would write it down and 85% 85% of our builds that we build um, are out of scrap lumber. Um, we researched a lot. Honey, how much research did we do? Uh, Whitney spent, before we came over here, probably about 12 months watching YouTube, various YouTube channels mm. uh, on homesteading and everything. Living off grid. Yeah, living off grid. I mean, I didn't watch it so much, but I did uh, hear about it quite often. And there's so many homesteading channels out there that are so chock full of information that I wanted to gather information and have ideas of things to do. And this was all part of our preparing to come to be true homesteaders. I mean, we bought a raw piece of land. It it has water on it, but it's a challenge for us to be able to get that water to us. Uh, there's not a well. Uh, we have a creek that runs through our property, but it's not easily accessible. So, you know, learning about, you know, all of these things before we got here um, was important, which enabled us to, for instance, our water, our hot water on demand. We knew that having a hot bath is was going to be key. I mean, it was just 
There was no way. So what did we do? We bought a, a, a hot water on demand system months before we got here mm -hmm. and had them shipped directly here, mm -hmm. uh, which turned out to be a good idea. I mean, it's just a basic propane system. <coughs> it works great. I mean, we use the hot water for showers. We use the hot water for the kitchen. Mm -hmm. And it r works really well. It's it's not too dissimilar than, than the system that actually is used in the UK. So mm. we kind of sort of knew what we were getting into because it's similar type system is already being used as the norm in the UK. So the actual unit <coughs> itself and so on and so forth has a few variations. but And there's a lot of controversy. Use it indoors, on, outdoors only. Don't use it in closed area, blah, 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 blah. And, you know, in watching the YouTube videos, that was something that I wanted to research. I wanted to learn about and figure out, you know, what we could do. And so having that already here when we got here was just huge. I mean, there's there's no replacing being able to take a hot shower, period. Yeah. I don't care who you are. And, and taking a bath in a bucket, we've done that. We did do that because we didn't get our... <laughs> Our system up uh, right away, and I bought the biggest tote I could find, and boiled water, and on an open fire outside, and and I mean we we you know the first few months and stuff you know we were like that, and um, Trevor's plumbing, you know with the hot water it's just been you know, it's still a learning process, right? Yeah, I mean. Uh... The hot water on demand, you, you hear us say it's a propane system, but that propane, I mean, we buy 30 gallon propane 20 tanks. Pounders, 20, 20, pound, 20 pounders. 20 pound tanks. Yeah. I mean, the propane tank for the shower, the hot water on demand system, that thing lasts months. About I six mean, months so far. Yeah, yeah. It's not because we don't take showers, but it, you know, it doesn't use a lot of propane. Uh, I mean, you can cool the water down in the summer months when you don't need it so hot mm. and then crank it up in the winter months. Mm. But the amount of propane it uses is, is minimal. 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 I mean, yeah. one tank will last us months. Yeah. Um, that's just one aspect that we have going. Uh, the composting toilet system. Uh, again, I was... Just like everybody else, whenever I heard about composting toilets, it's like, oh my God, it's going to stink and blah, 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 blah. And I'm here to tell you that one of the YouTubes I watched, one of the videos I watched on a composting toilet system was uh, the sawdust, okay? And uh, the statement was made, um, if it smells and you don't have enough sawdust on it, period. And... Is that true or not? I don't know because I'm not afraid of putting sawdust on it, period. <laughs> we just don't. Um, we actually do really like our composting toilet system. We do have um, an actual toilet built and we have separation. We have one for solids and one for liquids because the liquids, again, in a YouTube video somewhere out there, I saw that uh, you know the nitrogen was good for... for for the gardens and planting and stuff and and not that we use it all the time but I mean in building my compost toilet in my and building my compost toilet I took that into consideration so plus it does reduce the amount of sawdust that you have to use um, we have a bin outside you know set up with a cover and the straw and the you know so on and being that we've been here for a year our first pile is done it's been, you know, as as I want to call it, put to bed, and we've started our, our second year year pile. So, you know, we live in the Ozarks, and those of you who live in the Ozarks know that there are a lot of rocks. So, soil improvement here is is key for me because I do canning. I know how to can. Um, and I hope to have some canning videos. We'll see. Gardening. I've grown vegetables before. You know, so on and so forth. So, 
my first year, which we're now starting in planting, will be um, an experiment to see if what I've put in place will work. Fingers crossed. Stay tuned to find out because we will be showing videos. <coughs> if there were one thing that you had to, to tell somebody who was considering doing something like this, becoming a homesteader, leaving the city and all the hustle and bustle and come out for a simpler life, what would you tell them? Get ready to work them. <laughs> yeah. it, there's a lot of hard work involved and, uh, you know, you set your hours by whatever the project takes. Um, unfortunately, we don't have running water, we don't have a well, so we bring our water in and we use ICB totes and at the moment I'm in the process of enclosing them because last year we couldn't use our water we had to change the whole water system because uh, the it water does. froze so now I'm trying to implement something where the water will not freeze hence uh, enclosing the water tanks in a uh, Insulated building. Insulated building. Mm -hmm. So we don't have hit that problem again. I mean, we have managed. I mean, we moved the barrel inside the house and we use that, but it doesn't hold as much water. So, you know, when you go from 247 gallons to 55 gallons, I mean... It's challenging. It is pretty challenging, so... And that's the thing about it, is being a homesteader is a challenge. <coughs> It is a challenge. It's full of challenges all the time. Every day is a new challenge. And you can get bogged down really easily because the amount of projects, you know, is so long. Um, but we've come to the point to where we just take our time. Yeah. We take our time. There's no... We don't rush on anything. We take our time. And... If we don't get as much done today as we did yesterday, that's all right. As long as we get something done. So we tend we tend to make a list. We mm. sit down and we make a list of different projects what we need to do and then we prioritize them mm -hmm. and just take each one as we go along. Unfortunately, well, fortunately, I got all the time in the world because I don't work. I'm disabled. Mm. But you know, Whitney works a job, so when she's gone, I can just get on and on and on yeah. with with the projects and just knock them out one at a time. Yeah. So, we hope that you like our videos uh, and subscribe to our channel. We are new. We don't have any fancy schmancy stuff or anything like that right now. We're going to... Just stick it out there. I mean, if we make mistakes, we make mistakes. Um, we'll do our best to reply uh, to any comments, if you have any comments. Uh, if or not, questions. Or even questions, because, I mean, that's the thing. Learn from others, and that's what we did. We learned from watching YouTube videos and, you know, how to do things, and I'm fixing to sneeze, so bear <laughs> with me. <laughs> there yeah. you go. Welcome to Shay New. <laughs> oh, and you'll be surprised. I mean, you can pick up all kinds of tips from other homesteaders, you know. Exactly. I and mean, and don't be afraid to ask someone. Yeah, don't be afraid to ask and we're here to we're not professionals. We're here <laughs> living the life basically day to day and day in and day out. So, um welcome uh, we look forward to seeing your comments and be patient with us. I do ask you to be patient because I don't know, you know, how the videos are going to flow or or any of that kind of stuff. But um, we look forward to hearing from you. So thank you for taking time to watch our channel. We appreciate it very much. Again, I'm Whitney. I'm Trevor. Bye bye. Bye.